Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Millie on Dockage. It keeps up with the recipes and uh, all different kinds of things. Um, so, uh, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what will be installed today, Millie. It's a self-hosted solution for keeping up with your recipes, um, import recipes, automatic backups, rich user interface, meal planner, users, groups, webhooks, open API. So uh, this is a screenshot of it. So that's what we'll be installing today. So I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to go over to search and type meal. And then now Millie on Dockage right here. So I'm going to go in the Docker Compose. So version 3 of Docker Compose is being used. And then I'm going to set services. And the first service underneath services is called App. The container name is going to be called Big Bear Millie. The image is coming off Docker Hub by default. And this is the Docker image. And then this is the Docker image tag. Restart unless stopped. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then I'm going to set volumes down here. So Millie Data um, is a local volume that's defined right here. And then App Data uh, is on the container. Do not change the container uh, path. So I'm gonna mount. Uh, I'm gonna uh, map some ports right right here. So 99.25 is on the host, and then 9,000 is on the container. If this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it. And then do not change the containers port, just like the path and the port. Um, do not change the container side on the right. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy raw file. And then I'm going to go over to my dockage and get this set up. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down in the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to start on my dockage. I'm going to go up to Compose, and then Stack Name is going to be called Millie stack and then i'm going to go over the editor over here i'm going to paste in the uh, docker post i explained over big bear video assets and now you can see it did uh come over to the ui too so if you change anything over here or, or, or vice versa it'll change things in the editor plus the ui um so i'm going to go ahead and deploy it and what this is doing is it's downloading the Docker image off the registries, getting them abstracted, and getting them up with Docker Compose underneath, because this does use the Docker engine underneath. Um, so we got it up and running. So now I'm going to go over the stack options in Dockage. So on the home page, you get a status right here of active, exited, and inactive stacks. Um, so I'm going to go into the Millie stack. So up here is actions. So you can go into edit. And you can add a, a new service underneath the services, like Nginx. And then you can see it did add underneath the services right here. You can also go in here and uh, add an image. So I'm going to delete it. You can add URLs right here. You can set environment variables or, uh, and define networks, internal and external. You can also edit the Docker Compose over here. And you can deploy the changes, save the changes, stop an inactive, and then discard the changes. So I'm going to discard. You can restart the stack right here. Um, and this could take a little bit to restart it. Okay, now it's up and running again. You can update the current tag that's on the stack. So right here. And then you can stop the stack, stop an inactive, and then delete the stack. Um, you can see the containers in the stack. You can go to the UI by clicking the port right here. You can also go into the bash in the container. 
and uh, then go to SH2. There you go. Um, you can see logs down here. This is great for debugging. You can see a read-only version of the Docker Compose over here, but if you want to edit, you have to go on the edit but button right here. So that's a little bit about the stack options in Dockage. Okay, so now I'm going to start on my uh, Dockage. I'm going to go to Millie Stack, and then I'm going to click on the port right here, 99.25. And then now you get to sign in right here, so you can sign in with the a default username and password so that will be change me at example.com and then my password and then I'm gonna say log in oops okay now I'm gonna say log in okay now we're logged in so we can search and then um, we can go to meal plans we can go to shopping list, uh, timeline, categories, tags, tools. You can go to settings down here. See the application of a version, a bug reports. Um, you can also go into users. You can create users. Um, you can create groups, backups, and then the maintenance, background task, and then par parser. Um, so you can also go up here to create, you can import a recipe by URL, cre create a recipe manually, and then create a new cookbook. You can also go up here to the search. So if we create a recipe, you can type a recipe name in and then create. And there we go. You can say, I made this. Um, you can put an image in, settings, delete, JSON, uh, close, save. So it's pretty neat. So um, you can go ahead and go to fa favorite re recipes. So if you go to um, the home page, you click this little heart, and then you can go into favorites, and then you can see that the testing is now a favorite. You can also st star it. You can edit it, download, add to plan, and add to list and then share. You can random. Um, so you can expand the sidebar and then you can click the languages. A lot of languages supported, it seems like. And then you can click dark mode and then light mode. So that's a little bit about Millie's uh, UI. So I would recommend changing the username and password. So you can go up to change me right here. You can go into user settings and then you can change your password right here. Um, you can change your username, full name and email. You can also uh, see API tokens, group settings, cookbooks, members, and then webhooks, notifiers and manage data and then da data migration. So that's how to change the username and password. So I just went over step-by-step -step on getting Millie running on Dockage. If you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.